Hey guys, welcome to the tutorial of Matplotlib. Uh, today we are going to learn how to plot a pie chart. Now, pie chart is used uh, where you have to show a percentage or a proportional data. It is very good in showing you uh, the percentage of your each data points. And it's, uh, it's a combination of displaying the contribution of each values or referred to as slices to total pies or your total data. So let's get started and import our matplotlib function dot pyplot as plt and our function of matplotlib inline. Okay, so we have this data of us, or you can say a survey where uh, people have responded uh, to what type of movies they are interested in or what genres of movies interest them more. So in one section we have the uh, genre of the movies as movie and the number of people who are interested in uh, these categories. So let's create a pie chart out of them. So it's very simple. You call plt dot pie and you pass people or number of people and you label you want your label to be movie. So it, it has generated a pie chart but it has also generated this, these unnecessary lines and we want to get rid of them so you can simply say plt dot show and let's get rid of them okay so uh, don't you think the size of the pie is a little bit small let's make it large by the argument of radius let's say 1.7 yeah looks good now but wait uh, it is uh, specifying that a larger portion of your data is uh, occupied by the genre of romance as we can see it's 48 but we also want the values or the percentage of the values to display so we have another argument for that and that is auto PCT or auto percentage. So we have to pass a command as I'm passing as 0 0.1 or I'm sorry uh, percentage 0 0.1 and F double percentage so we are having a percentage now what this auto PCT does is it is a format string the value so if you are providing 0 0.1 it tells you the decimal places after point is 153.3 in this case if you want two values after point you can say 0 0.2 Okay, you want no decimal, you can say zero point. But let's take it till after one decimal point. That looks much clearer. Okay, moving ahead, uh, we have another command. Now, say if you want to explode or to take out one pie okay so we have five categories 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0, comma zero. now let's say that our drama pie which is in the second position after the action okay we want this drama 
to be a little bit on outside to to withdraw this pi or if you want to withdraw a little further you can say 0 0.2 okay now if you want the second highest percentage to be to be withdrawn now the second highest is psi phi that is 27.8 so psi phi is on one two three fourth section so we want fourth zero to be point two so here a bigger section of the pi is be taken out now another thing that you can look is for your start angle if you want to set an angle let's say you want for 45 degree now it will start that is our values are starting from the section of action so this axis will uh, deploy its axis on an angle of 45 degree yeah it's a 45 degree if you want it to be 90 degree can get it at right angle 90 degree or if you want to put it at 180 degree you can always put it as 180 degree so here so as we can see the survey of the data implies that a larger population is more interested in watching the movies of genre of romance and the second highest is for sci-fi now these types of surveys are very useful to plot on pie chart and of course you will be getting to plot a big data on excel sheets or csv file so that's always a tedious task okay so that is it for this tutorial guys for the pie chart and i'll be posting much more ahead and uh, please if you have any queries feel free to shoot it down and uh, thank you for this session